Hello and thank you for watching. You saw the intro, dry fly fishing again. I might be sleeping in this little cabin later. I think there's like six of those along this river. You can just put your sleeping pad in there, which I've done a few times, quite convenient. All right, I have sat down so I can actually talk without getting all puffed. I was fishing and camping here about a week ago for three days and I didn't manage to catch a fish. So I didn't feel like sitting down and editing a video for two weeks where I didn't catch anything. But I could have done it because there were some really important lessons to learn from that trip and why I didn't catch any fish. But instead I'm just gonna take that right now, go through it. Because it's some really cool footage of trout eating in slow motion. And the lessons to be learned is from those pieces of footage. I might be looking at the water because I'm looking at for rising fish right now. So when I was here last time, I learned that I set the hook way too slowly. You can see from this footage right here that there's a fish rising, eating the fly. You go down and there's, that's it. That's the whole thing. Watch it again. You go up, eat the fly, you go down. Very calm, no extra wakes or anything. Now let's see what happens when he eats my fly. He's going up. It's the fly and then uh, something happened. A secondary wake that shouldn't be there is happening. Watch it again. Going up, it's the fly, going down, wait! Something is happening. Something unnatural is happening for the trout and he reacts by moving his whole body like this. Like that. That's him spitting the fly. Here's another example where we can actually see the trout underwater. He's going up, eating the fly, he's going down and then instantly he turns like whoo, tries to throw the fly. And that's what's happening when you see a wake far away in slow motion. You don't really have time to see this in real life because it happens in literally half a second. So in this shot where the fish is going up, eating the fly, going down, spitting the fly, and then I set the hook. Now it's four seconds in this slow motion scene from the time that the fish eats the fly until the time that I set the hook. That's four seconds. And doing the math, 230 frames per second played back at 60 frames per second means that four seconds in this shot is one second in real life. Which means I set the hook after one second, which should be okay, but it's not. Because after half a second, the fish have already turned its head to throw the fly. So when I make my hook set, there's no fish there. But that's something cool that we learned now. Hope you got it. So this time today, if I make an upstream cast at least, and I see the fish go up, I will set the hook very quickly. However, there's at least one more thing I can think about why the fish spat the fly. You could see that that fly was a mayfly imitation. You are correct. Now this mayfly imitation that he ate is a rather large fly and it probably doesn't really feel like a real mayfly. Even though it's a bit squishy, but when the trout eats this, he probably feels in an instant this is not food and he want to get rid of it as quickly as possible because it's probably a stick or something so the trout going up eating this he feels that's not what i usually eat he spits it out he's going on with his day and then i set my hook so yeah so this time by using some smaller flies let's have a look what i've made i think the big fly is really easy to recognize to not be what they wanted to eat so i've made a whole row of flies here in my box so i think these a little bit smaller and more delicate flies will be more difficult for the trout to feel that it's a fake thing so i think they will hold on to it a little bit longer before trying to spit them 
And hopefully this time I will catch a fish with the knowledge I gained from previous weeks fishing. So let's go! I'm just gonna sit here and wait for a while. There could be fish rising here. There was another rise just ahead of me. It's awesome! Quick hook set, quick hook set. Damn wind. Nay! Nay! Why not? <sighs> Damn it. Hmm. I think I was really quick. Maybe I'm just unlucky there. I don't know. That's good as well. Nay! There was nothing. Why? He eats. Oh yeah, I could see that. Shit, I think I was too late again. Actually needs a bit of an operation there. He got it deep, but it's barbless and very good hook. Just keeping him in the water like this as I unhook him. Yep, that came out perfectly fine. Look at that, super good fish. That's a beautiful fish, bro. Very beautiful. So I sat down, had some coffee and right there was the fish rising. I'm just gonna put the camera up and hope for the best and then make some casts and then move on. Take a quick fish break here. Like hopefully I can get him, but it's gonna be difficult. We try, we try, it's fun. I like coffee, coffee break is good. <gasps> there, big rice, just near that big rock. That's awesome, that's awesome. Let's film it and then catch him. I want a shot that is very close to the surface. I should be close enough right now. Just guesstimate how much line I need. Something like that should be good. Oh, this is exciting. It's like the best thing ever. Yeah, fish on. Oh, hey! I lost him. Did I get the shot though? That's actually almost as fun. <sighs> actually, I didn't land the fish, but that was a great shot in focus and everything. That's almost as, I can almost count that, you know, I'm happy. That's cool. That's super cool. Okay, let's go. Let's move on. Yeah, why not? Tarpon fishermen and hopper fishermen don't count fish landed. They count the takes. So do I. I'm gonna eat my dinner. At the same time, I can look downstream pretty well. And upstream where I caught that, or I didn't catch that fish. Dinner is pizza. It's actually quite convenient to bring 
cold pizza when camping. I don't have to make a fire or cook the food. Just sit here, look for rising fish and eat pizza. Mm. So I thought I was gonna camp in my tent near the stream in a spot that I already checked out, but I was sitting there next to the stream eating more dinner pizza. I didn't see any fish and I came to the conclusion that the water is probably flowing way too slowly there, so there might not be fish. So instead I'm gonna sleep here inside this shelter again. It's very nice actually. And I was here last week as well and I didn't make a video of that trip, but I saw a very special bird that I want to try to film and record with my audio recorder. It has a very cool sound, that bird. They're probably gonna be here again because I've been here like two nights and both those nights they have been flying around here. But first, I'm gonna try to find fish here. Oh, yeah, fish on. That's a good end of today. It's pretty difficult to sit like this without getting my butt wet. Fishing. Oh, yeah, let's go. Coffee. Like two kilo, maybe very light raft. That was kind of perfect way to spend the day during bright and sunny warm days like this. It's been like 30 degrees Celsius. It's very low chance for trout to go up and eat in the middle of the day. I think rafting was a really good decision. That was like the perfect thing to do during a day like this. And now it's like 6 p.m. and there's shade starting to fall on the river everywhere. Hopefully that will make the trout go up and eat off the top. But it will get better and better all the time from now until like 10.30 p.m. Eat it, eat it, eat it. I didn't eat it. Shit. That is good too. Oh, he went up again. I have to change fly then or what? It's a new fly on now. Satan, my knot, also. You see this no? I wonder if I just had a look or scared him. I don't know. Something happened there. Eh? Since he didn't hit, something bad just happened. So, 
There is lots of gnats. So I'm gonna stop fishing. And I hope there's not gonna be this much gnats on the next trip. That is not nice. But it was a fun trip. Oh, I can't stand here and talk. I have to go. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Yoops.